Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today we're working on this bike again. I didn't really like how the tune turned out last time. The uh, throttle was a little smoother, but I did not like the, the torque, kind of lost some torque. So I'm going to do a little bit of research, figure out how to um, tune this throttle to get the most power and torque out of it. And uh, I'm also just going to, I'm going to eliminate this tensioner here. I don't really think I need it. And it keeps fucking up and, and coming loose. So, which means I'm gonna have to shorten the chain. I've got some chain tools here. Uh, I pretty much got one shot at this. If I screw it up and cut it too, too short, I'm gonna have to buy another chain. So hopefully we can do it. Because you can't have to remove these links in two, two at a time. And I'll, you'll see what I'm saying in just a second here. So first thing, let's get this chain off. I don't know if you can see right here. This is where the, uh, the chain link kind of clips on here. And I've got this tool where you just grab it just like this. And you can just, you see, and it just comes right off, these two. And so when you put them back on, you can see they, they kind of go like this. And then you use the tool in the opposite direction to, to clamp them back on. Let's put that aside for now. Let's go ahead and get this chain off. And let's get this tensioner off. That thing's a piece of crap. It's not even tensioning. Well, uh, kind of. Oh, it's loose. All right, I'll just leave this thing on for now. There's no reason to take it off, but let's try to figure out how long this chain needs to be. So maybe exactly one off. Yep, that should be good enough. So let's see, let's make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, so I need to take this, this one here off and this one, because it needs to be a short piece here. Actually, I think I'll take it off this side because it's like, kind of jacked up. You see that's kind of broken there. Yeah, this got messed up, I think, when the chain kept coming off. So let's do it on the side. <clears throat> so we need to take off two links, this one and this one, and hopefully that'll do it. For that, we just use a chain tool like this. So let's see, we want to take it off right here. See that? It just kind of screws right in and pushes the pin out. Well, anyways, so that's off. So now what you do is you take these... Hopefully that was good enough. Ah, shit. No, it's still too long. Damn. I think we need two more, actually. Okay. Let's take two more off. Yeah, it's better to do it just a little at a time. Maybe, you know, one link or two links at a time, so that way you don't make it too sh short. Let's try this again. Oh, it looks more like it. Okay. So now that's kind of on there. Damn, is that still too small? Shit, I don't know. And, oh, I guess you start from right here, and then you can snap them into place. Dang, that's still too loose. Yeah, shit. Is it? Is that gonna come loose? Yeah, look at that. That's way too loose. Is there a way, another way to tighten this? But am I am I gonna be able to get two more off? Actually, let's go try it like this. I want to see um, because it does have the suspension, so it needs some wiggle room. I want to see if it's gonna come off. Actually, uh, no. I I don't really feel any issues with the chain going over a lot of bumps and stuff. I mean, the chain's not skipping or anything. No, that actually did pretty good. Actually, I don't know. The chain felt pretty good um, riding, so what do you guys think? I mean, it's pretty damn loose. There is lots of room for the suspension, though. I don't even know if I could get it any smaller than that, so I don't know. Is it rubbing against the tire? I mean, it's all over the place. Yeah, I should try shorten it a little bit more. If not, I'll have to buy a new chain if I can't get it the right size. Where's the link at? Let's try one more then. Oh man. Yeah, it's too short now. Let's see, maybe I can get it. Now it's about a link too short. What if I just do it like this? And try to spin it on. Where's it? Right here. Okay. All right guys, it's been a few days since I recorded messing around with the chain there. It is pretty damn tight, but my hope is it'll loosen up over time. But I ordered this contraption here. So what it does is it makes it so I can plug this into my phone because I realized that there's actually an app where you can tune your controller on Android and it's a lot easier than using the laptop. So I'm using this app instead. So what I'll do is I'll just leave a I guess a link in the description. I have it on Android, I'm not sure if it's available on um, Apple or not, but uh, it's the same sort of principle. You connect this to the same wire that connects your um, display. OK. 
okay. And then you can connect this to your phone. I'll put a link for this too. And I'll put a link to everything in the description here so you can just click the links. So let's just start recording my screen here. And you just hit connect. Okay. So it's connected. That was easy enough. So apparently, I think what from we do from here, what do we do? Go miles per hour, dark mode, whatever. Settings, okay. So I guess we can read each one. So we're set at 30 amps. We have, well, I think there's like 27 inches actually. So let's change the wheel diameter. I think it's 27 inches. Speed meter signal, I don't know what this, how this stuff means, but on each different screen you have to do the read and then write. So, see so the levels. I'm not going to screw with the levels because I don't really care. 9 is 100%. Pedal, I don't care. Throttle is where we want to make the changes. So currently we're set at, at starting volts, 2 volts. I don't really know what to do here. So what I'm going to do is change current to speed because it's more torquey on speed. Speed limit by display. Let's see, start current. I mean, I don't really even know what I should even do here. It goes all the way up to 100%. Let's try, now let's do 30. So like when you start, you're gonna get 30% of the power and then as you twist, you get more and more power. I think that's what the what it's saying here. Start voltage and voltage. Like I don't know what the hell this shit means. We're just gonna have to play around with it, I guess. I mean, 4.9 seems, or five volts seems to be the max. So let's set it to the max and let's write that. So uh, yeah, hey, let's just um, go give this a try really quick. So I wrote it. It's saved, two volts, five volts. It's mode is speed, it's set to display. I think I have the, on the display, I have it set to like, I don't know, 60 miles an hour or some shit or whatever it is, higher than this bike can go. So we have the, the designated assist level set to 100%. That's level nine. And uh, okay, yeah, let's go try it out. By the way, guys, I gotta clean this, this up, but I'm gonna be selling this uh, Surround pretty soon, probably about 8,500. It's got almost 10 grand worth of upgrades on it, so it's a pretty good deal. Coming up in a few videos from now, I'll let you know if you wanted to buy it, how you would do that. But I'm also going to put it up on my website for sale because I have two bikes coming in. But uh, after I get my first bike, I'm going to uh, do some comparative reviews against that one. So I need to keep it until then. Well, there was like a really weird delay right there. Yeah, so those changes definitely made it worse. <laughs> they did not make it better. So let's try something else. Yep, current definitely feels a lot better. All right, well, I'll give you the final um, the final configuration right now when I get back. All right, guys, let's take a look at the final. Let's do one last screen record here. Three, two, one. Yeah, so the, the final configuration, the starting voltage is one, end is five. The mode, we have current. Designated assist level, we have the nine. Speed limit by dis displays command, and the start current is 10%. So I wonder, what would happen if I put that like at 50%? I don't know. It's good for right now. It's super smooth. It's not super torquey, but it does feel a little bit torquey. Gets up to speed really fast. Feels great off-road. A lot of control with the throttle. So it's pretty much exactly what I wanted it to be when I started, except for I wish it had a higher top speed. So, But for that, you're either going to need a higher voltage battery because uh, voltage is related to rpm so if you want a higher rpm and higher top speed you have to either increase your voltage or we have to decrease the um the sprocket the size of the sprocket but if we do that we're going to lose torque and it's not going to feel all that fun to ride so as far as its current configuration without upgrading the controller i think this is you know pretty much as good as it's going to get all right guys uh, i'll try to put links to everything in the description here let me know if you have any um questions uh leave comments suggestions for videos all that you want to see any more videos of this let me know what kind of videos you want to see like i said this is going to be on for sale soon but i'll still be making content with this until I... uh thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye